Lightning joins us with a special edition of City by City. That's right, Kendall. Tomorrow is Grandma's Marathon, and we asked people to send in photos of themselves training for the big day. We didn't get any pictures from the 5K, but I'll but be running it But you are representing, <laughs> yes. So shout out to all the 5K runners. I'll be running it. Our morning anchor, Paul Brown, is running. Our video editor, Nick, is running. So good luck to everyone running the mm -hmm. 5K as well. Are you excited? I'm nervous, but I am really excited. The weather's yeah. perfect. You don't have to train too much, so I'll get through it. It'll be fun. <laughs> you will. I think you're going to do great. I Thank think you. everyone running with Northern News Now is going to do awesome, oh, yeah. too. It's going to be fun. It's always a fun mm -hmm. event, and I love watching it, so I'm excited to be a part of it yeah. this year. And we also got some super fun photos from people from all over the place taking part in different races tomorrow. Let's take a look at some of them. We start with runners taking on the Gary Bjorklund Half Marathon. 8,000 racers will start their 13.2 mile journey at 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. We had submissions from right here in Duluth all the way to New Mexico. We also had submissions from a family in California and a heart transplant survivor in Indianapolis. And we do want to give a special shout out to Martha Kearney of Chesterton, Indiana. She turned 70 last December and to celebrate, she and her husband are running seven half marathons this year. That is incredible. The Bjorkland will be their fifth so far this year. I hope I run one half in my lifetime. <laughs> and now we turn to the folks taking on the full marathon. 9,000 racers will depart from two harbors around 7.45 tomorrow morning. From Hawaii to Canada, people are coming from all across the world to run this iconic race. And one run, r racer is coming from Puerto Rico and has ran more than 25 marathons. But Grandma's has been on his bucket list. And while some people are very experienced runners, for many this is their first major race. Several people told us they're hoping to qualify for Boston this weekend. That's right, and one of those people trying to qualify for Boston is Francisca. She's a deaf runner and American Sign Language signer from Florida. She's ran 10 half marathons and five full marathons, but this is her first grandma's weekend. Well, that is just incredible. And lastly, there are racers brave enough to take on multiple courses this weekend, as if one was not enough. The Great Grandma's Challenge features people running the William A. Irvin 5K tonight, and then either the half or full marathons tomorrow. There's a woman from Maryland taking on her 104th half marathon this weekend, as well as a Minnesota woman taking on her first full marathon as part of the challenge. And new this year is that racers will get a special medal for completing the Great Grandma's Challenge. So, of course, good luck to all of this year's racers.